I'm Mark Bregan. And I'm Rachel Kessler. We are the chaplains at Kenyon College and we comprise the Office of Spiritual and Religious Life. We help students gain a greater understanding and appreciation for beliefs other than their own and respect for others who hold those beliefs. And that way, we honor the human spirit and nurture its development. We also encourage students to take responsibility for their spiritual identities in ways that are meaningful to them. Louisa May Alcott once wrote that I am not afraid of storms for I am learning how to sail my ship. Our job is to help all members of the Kenya community sail their ships. We now want to introduce you to some individuals who are discovering where their spirituality is best nourished on the Kenyan campus. My religious studies professors would probably be pretty upset with me if I didn't define sacred space as that which is set apart. And considering how hectic college life can be with your academic responsibilities, with student organizations, with your social life, nothing's more important than finding that place set apart from that stress, finding a place set apart from, uh, from the anxieties and rigors of college life, a place where you can just go and be yourself and sit and reflect. That can be different things for different people, but for me, the Chapel of the Holy Spirit has always been that place where I can center myself and avoid that stress and anxiety of college life. But even though I came here to be alone, it's the community of people that I found here that really reshaped my entire college experience. The Rothenburg Hillel House is a gorgeous and welcoming space at Kenyon. As a freshman in my first semester, this is where I came to hear Shabbat services um, and high holiday services, which was an incredibly important aspect of becoming comfortable and feeling at home in Gambier for me. Throughout the week, it is a space that is almost always open for students to study and meet, whether they're Jewish or not. Um, we have this chapel space, we have um, a dining room and a lounge, um, and Mark Reagan's office is always there and he's always smiling and available to meet. And we have a few amazing Hillel managers who are great at coordinating weekly events, um, and this is a space that I love at Kenyon. I'm Chana Child, I'm a first year from Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, I hope to be a poli-sci major. Um, and the reason that I connect with this spot is because um, it was a pivotal moment in my faith journey. Um, I, was, I did service pre-orientation, so I got to Kenyon before both of my roommates, and I wanted to give them a chance to sort of um, say goodbye to their families like I had when they moved in. So I decided to go around and explore campus, so I wandered over to Old K because it's a very famous spot on campus. Um, and as I sort of was leaving there, I was walking down to the CAC when I saw this space and I thought it was really beautiful um, and it felt very peaceful. So I sat down and I sort of went into like this meditative state and I started thinking about my own faith journey and I was thinking about how my entire life I know that my family has been praying for me and that they're always keeping me in their thoughts. Um, and I felt like in that moment that college was empowering me to sort of take control of my own faith and I decided that I was going to take an active interest in um, my own growth. I, so I sat here and thought about it a while and I hoped that for the remainder of the year um, that I would be able to meet people and experience things that would help me grow in my faith and sort of achieve those goals and I definitely have found over the course of a year that I definitely feel very connected spiritually here and that all of the friends that I've made through faith um, have been really instrumental in my own growth. So. I'm Brandon Lee Cruz. I'm a first year English major and a Muslim here at Kenyon College. When I asked about where do I feel most spiritual, you know, in this campus, you know, I choose Pierce because, you know, I'm an extrovert, first of all. Uh, and I love just talking to people and, you know, Pierce is that epicenter. You know, everybody has to eat here and everything. Uh, but everybody comes together um, from all different backgrounds, you know, whether it be, you know, non-Muslim or Muslim. Uh, and when I'm talking to my non-Muslim friends, you know, they're always curious about my identity, my religious identity, uh, what I practice, what I believe in, in this very sincere way that you usually don't get here in America. And it's really comforting to feel that, to feel loved, to feel appreciated because you worship, you know, your God and about your own beliefs. But it's so, it's so comforting to have these nonchalant conversations, you know. And I really, truly appreciate it. And I really, truly feel, truly feel closer to God, you know, when I talk to everybody. Because I can really see God in everybody. And I can really see that love and compassion in everybody here on campus, no matter, you know, their religion. 
Right now, we're in Ascension Hall. Um, this is Philo Methusian Lecture Hall, um, and it is the place where I feel spiritually connected because first of all, it's really gorgeous. So anyone who comes to Kenyon should know that they should look at, take a look at Philo, but also because um, Ascension is the home to the Religious Studies Department, and I'm an English and Religious Studies double major. So I've found a lot of spiritual fulfillment um, engaging with faculty and um, other students in both the English and Religious Studies departments, because for me, when I feel really spiritually involved, I'm intellectually engaged and I'm really present in the moment with interesting people that I care about. So I've had a lot of really interesting conversations in Philo and in Ascension with my advisor and with friends. Kenyon has taught me to question what I thought I knew about my religious identity um, through my religious studies classes and my English classes and it has also taught me to embrace parts of myself that I think I was less comfortable with before I came. So when you do science, you, you sometimes are just overwhelmed with a, a sense of wonder at the marvelous way the universe is put together. And Einstein said that sense of wonder was a, a spiritual experience of the, of the deepest and most profound kind. You don't have to be a, a member of a particular faith tradition. You don't have to go up on a mountaintop or be in a temple. But if you're open to it, that means you can have a, a sense of the presence of God doing your physics homework.